Cassini had a need, a need for speed, much more speed. And it got that speed by using the gravity of other planets that were closer and easier to get to. We needed to, uh, to get a sort of slingshot effect from the gravity of uh, Venus twice, uh, the Earth and Jupiter on the way to Saturn to, to give us that little extra push. To make this slingshot possible, scientists used a unique alignment of the planets, an event that would not reoccur for over 600 years. Cassini would be routed first via Venus. Its gravitational pull would accelerate the spacecraft, but it would still need a second Venus flyby, plus a boost from a turn past Earth. Accelerating to nearly 80,000 kilometers per hour, Cassini would be flung out towards Jupiter. Larger than all the planets put together, Jupiter would then provide a final almighty push, hurling the craft further out towards Saturn. October the 15th, 1997. At NASA's launch site at Cape Canaveral in Florida, Cassini Huygens was blasted into the night sky. It sort of lit this cloud up like a Chinese lantern from within. It was, it was quite spectacular. And, and you just think, wow, you know, it, it's out of our hands now. For Cassini Huygens, the mission to Titan was more than just making first contact. What lay ahead was the possibility of exploring the origins of life itself. Titan's thick atmosphere had captivated scientists for years. Many believed it might resemble the atmosphere of the early Earth. It's dominated by nitrogen, but it has methane and a whole range of hydrocarbon gases, gases made of carbon and hydrogen. And we believe that this present-day atmosphere on Titan has a lot of similarities with the way that our own atmosphere here on Earth was maybe four billion years ago. Perhaps Titan would hold the key to understanding how life began on our own planet.